If I'm a vice president, how can finance minister pull me? And now you come back and tell us we have not been given opportunity. What else do you want us to give you to prove that you are effective? Please, I'm telling you the gospel truth. Dr. Baumia, this chairman, are destroying his campaign. Because Baumia can't win the election without me. I can't win election without him.
but we have this chairman are destroying his campaign. Because but we have come win election without me. Man of the woman. I'm, I'm telling you, he can't win election without me. I can't win election without him. That is why the prayer is very important. We need the unity. But if you come, or somebody comes to your place and say, not even, not only the regional executive, we actually call constituency executives not to meet you. Now, we have five regions in North region. But I assure you, your number is 31,800. We have three regions. Western, Western North, Central region. The number is 35,000. I'm drawing your attention to something. <laughs> three. Three. So if you want to play driver, I will also play driver. Then what will happen to us? We'll go to opposition. But we don't need that. We don't need to go to opposition. And this is not. Thank you. a fair election and Dr. Pamunia wins. I'm going to fully support him. But if there's no fair election, I have a TV station. I have a radio station. I have a morph. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not I'm, I'm not somebody that anybody can do. What do you do? It is not good for you from the north. I beg you, I'm telling you, Chairman, you are here. Is your colleague chairman? You can call them yes. because I can call their bluff. And within four months, I'll shut Bowman's campaign down right there. I'll shut it. Yes. If you play games with me, I'll shut their campaign because ever since they started, dating campaign, Campo especially, dating campaign that they are doing, it will help the party. Samba, you, Samba, and that chairman. Let me tell you, when they give that contract, they go and sell. I am telling you, Samba and Northeast Chairman, they gave them a contract of 163 million. And this 163 million, they sold it to Ali Zedu.
The original contract was 163. Ali Manpoma changed it to 169. It means he got the contract free. <laughs> yes, because the six million was going to pay to the two chairman. He went to World Ministry for them to value it to cover. Has he paid them? No. Now listen. When the church bounced, they come the whole time. They couldn't get anybody to talk to at least they had to pay the money. Then somebody referred them to me. But my manager, who is in charge of the coasters, is also a Mamusi boy, a cousin of Ali Marapoma. So I called Mohammed and told him, Look, go and tell your brother, have all the bounce checks. If he doesn't pay them, I'll sit on the 2 d and show all the bounce checks. <laughs> so quickly, he organized the first 1.5 million and brought it to my house. Mohammed brought the money to my house at Isligon and I gave it to the two children, plus those who introduced them to me. They wanted to give me money as if I knew today will be another day that I'll make reference. <laughs> when the service to take and said, oh, what God has blessed me with, I don't need to take this more money from me. So please, take the money away. Then they took their 1.5 million away. Then I call Ali Seydou again. So look, you better redeem yourself. You need to pay the 1.5. He organized 1.5 a day. I called the chairman. They came to my house and I gave it to them. That day, it was my daughter's birthday. So they gave my daughter, I think, five or ten thousand cities. But I did not take anything. I don't want anything. The guy, I don't want anything. The guys who introduced them to me, when they were sharing the money, they started fighting in my house. <laughs> yes. So I said, please, you go out there. <laughs> because of the fight, I said, I want you to call and say it again. Go and collect your own money. So I left them. At least, I collected three million out of the six million for this teacher. And you, if you are supporting vice president, I don't have a problem. But just as chairman has done, the original executives have left their office to come and join constituency executive. Clap for them. <laughs> Samba, this regional election, I was in America. Farouk came to visit me and said, you need to support these names. I didn't know. I know Samba all right. So I gave him 100,000. Samba sent me a message. Thank you. I got 40,000 from Farouk. This same man now is preventing me from coming to North if the Indians can be a team, do not organize to be a random one. I swear, nobody can cheat. A random one. Some of them go out there to say that Kenya Japan is spreading money because they've given him contracts. This guy works at the State Housing Corporation. All the lands that we have sold, all the government properties that we have sold, how much have you given to the party? Is in trouble. <laughs> because I'm going back tomorrow and I'll give him a showdown. Cabo, Cabo, Cabo sits here. I know his house in America. Cabo, if you want to play that, I'll be dead. Cabo, I know your house in America. When you were not the deputy minister, did you buy a house in America? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Say all. Say all these things. So if you are very close to Vice President, inform him that I can.
can spoil his campaign easily based on what his people are doing. If he takes them out there to unleash a model than a lion, I will come like a wounded lion. That, when I do that, it will help the party. It will help. I have kept quiet everything that they say. It comes to me. Kaku goes to Porta region to say that they shouldn't vote for accounts. They shouldn't vote for accounts. Dr. Free, I got to free went there. And he was bold to speak to them and say that, look, if you listen to Kaku, MPP can never win election without the accounts. So if you are going to play this dirty game, how do you expect accounts also to vote for you? So if I should play that game against the law, how would they, or how can I come back and say that I need your support? Why I have kept quiet is that we should have common sense. Whether you vote for me or not, I'm going to win. And if I win, if I win, the flag bearer should I need your help before I can sail through. Therefore, whether you vote or not, I don't have to antagonize you. We are one party people. If you understand democracy, then what is your problem? Let everybody make the decision. No problem. But open tribalism, I have to pay them back before they see that. <laughs> I have to pay them back before they sit down. And I'll pay them back. And when it triggers, I will destroy the party. Oh, we are begging. I mean, I'm saying to us, I'm begging, but when it triggers, we are begging. the party will be destroyed. No, no. So I'll come up with all the secrets that I know. <laughs> if you want to destroy me, that is what I'll do. But you see, because of you, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Chairman, I'm sending you talk to Doc that you should let them do fair campaign so that when whoever emerges as a we come together and win 2024. That, that, uh, I want them to know what has transpired. Well, I came here to tell 